Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. This audio special interview brought to you in part by our friends at Nike. Going into the Nike hot seat today, the head coach of the Buckeyes of Ohio State, Tom Ryan. Tom, you're in France today. Yes, I am. Just got here to support uh, Coach Up Colin Moore at uh, the Junior World Championships. I'm looking forward to it. You know, we talked with Brandon Slay yesterday uh, in just a kind of a review of, or preview, I should say, of the freestyle team USA and, and uh, the opportunities to, to do well over there. And, and uh, Colin was kind of a nice surprise uh, and, and an unexpected, perhaps, for some surprise for uh, Team USA in the lineup. What are your thoughts on this young man? Well, we knew when we recruited him, he was going to be special. Uh, first, he's from a small town, Norway in high school. You know, his dad was a state champion. His dad trained him and worked with him. It was kind of his main training partner. Uh, you know, really good athlete, great soccer player. You know, all the kids in the family are very athletic. And he just has a hunger to be great. And he was, you know, he's a 160-pounder his junior year. His senior year, he was a, you know, a kind of a small 82-pounder. But, uh, you know, at Ohio State, he just keeps getting bigger and stronger. And when you've got Miles Martin on one side of you and, and uh, Bo Jordan and, and uh, you know, Kyle Snyder around, you get better fast. So he's doing a really nice job. And, you know, we really expected this. Initially, when he came to Ohio State, he wasn't progressing as quickly as we had thought. But uh, this past summer was a great summer for him. And he's on the junior world team. And we're not surprised. And that's, uh, that's outstanding. So you're in uh, Macon, France to to uh, help coach up and also to support not just this young man but also team usa and uh, it's often been said that environment is critical you've provided a positive environment at ohio state uh and we've talked about this on many occasions uh opportunities for young men to get better at their craft one of them Travel de Lagnev. You've recently elevated Travel to a coaching position at Ohio State. Uh, what propelled you to do this, and, and what are your expectations of Travel? Well, you know, obviously I know Travel really well. He's been in our training center uh, for nearly seven years now. Um, you know, obviously a two time Olympian, multiple world medalist. But the thing that, you know, I, you see those things on the, on, the, on the outside and you think, wow, this guy is, is, uh, has had some an incredible career. But when you walk alongside him and you, you talk to him and you listen to what he thinks and, and uh, you, watch him, you watch him teach, you know, I had firsthand, uh, firsthand view, you know, of, of how good of a coach and teacher he is. So, you know, we're really excited that he's going to be taking over, you know, the RTC. And, of course, Coach Jaggers has been alongside Lou and me the entire way. I mean, he's a great coach. He's, he's had a huge impact in this program. So he, his position gets elevated as well. And we'll probably have a co probably have a co head coach to the RTC, um, you know, going forward. Let's mm -hmm. talk a bit about, you mentioned coach Roselli. Uh, Lou has been on it, on everybody's short list, uh, for head coaching positions for the last six, seven years, even, even longer for some. Uh, and it was re recently announced that he would become the new head coach of Oklahoma. Um, obviously he's been a friend of yours, a confidant, et cetera. How involved were you in the decision, uh, for him to not only interview for the job, but to take the job? Well, I mean, you know, the first thing I say that comes to mind when I think of coach Roselli and the fact that he's committed, Lou's committed to go to Oklahoma was just pure joy. You know, I was just so happy for a guy that's given so much to so many people and Oklahoma is a great job. Uh, so you know, joy was the first thing. And then just a lot of reflection. You know, Lou and I came to Ohio State the same year, same time. Um, we established a great friendship. You know, he moved, he actually moved into my house uh, and stayed with, uh, stayed with my family uh, when we first got the program, uh, you know, moving in the right direction. And we were both just so optimistic. You know, we were so excited about building something special. So there was a lot of reflection, you know, a lot of looking back and, and, um, you know, just the time we spent together. So uh, he's ready to he's ready to be the king of Oklahoma and run that program, and we're looking forward to it. You know, I'm so happy for him and his family. You know, and I'll, I'll ask you to comment, if you're comfortable, on Mark Cody and his departure. Were you surprised at, at a five-year tenure for Cody at, at Oklahoma? 
I was, yeah, of course I was, yeah, I was surprised for sure. I mean, Mark did a great job at American and, um, you know, I think he, I don't know, you know, this, the couple of tough seasons, I, I don't know. I mean, they've had, they've had a couple of national champions, they've had all Americans, but you know, uh, there's so much going on within the Ohio state program that I just focus in on. Sure. And, um, but it was a surprise. We had uh, Kyle Snyder and Helen Merlis both on uh, Takedown Radio this last weekend. And if, mm-hmm. there, if there's an example, Tom, if there's an example of, of uh, what wrestling can do or what part wrestling can play in the life of, of young people, I think they both, Helen and, and uh, Kyle, uh, are highly representative of that. But it takes good coaching, good mentorship, and it's something uh, I think I reflect on with Coach Roselli and you and I'm being positive role models, positive mentors surrounding yourself with positivity. And they've done that. You guys did a wonderful job and are doing a wonderful job with Kyle. Can you talk about Lou Roselli as a mentor to, to young people? Yeah. I mean, Lou is just, he's just really simple. There's a few, I mean, he does a great job at, uh, at avoiding the distractions that, you know, just because you're, 45, 46 doesn't mean that you can't be distracted by the world. And he just pours himself into people. You know, he'll, he'll be, in, he'll be there with the student athletes twice a day, whenever they want. He's obviously got great knowledge. He just loves the sport. And he loves to help people. And, um, he's one of the best at it. You know, the other day we were just going over the accomplishments of Kyle Snyder and what he was able to accomplish over the last 365 days. And, we forgot to add in Big Ten champ, and it was, right. <laughs> it was. I mean, how, how does that become, you know, not on the list when you look at NCAA right, right. champ? He's got a high standard, right, Scott? Yeah, <laughs> it was for me just. Well, it was a great. You know, he, 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 when they were interviewing him, uh, uh, Kyle back at, on campus, they were. You know, he, they were. He, he made a point to say that, despite the fact that I've got a, a world championship and Olympic gold medal. The Big Tens and NCAAs are important competitions for me. I'm excited for those. And that's just such a unique way of thinking, right? I think it is. Uh, and, and for yeah. us to discount that by not including it, uh, you know, yeah. that's a sin for us, but um, the, 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 the media somehow left that one off. And I'm going, yeah, this know. is one of the biggest accomplishments a, a young person could ever have, let alone – you know, all the balance, the balance of his accomplishments. What was going through your head, your heart, uh, when Kyle became the Olympic gold medalist? Well, I was squeezing his mom around her neck and I was squeezing Kevin. I was wedged in between the two of them with like 10 seconds to go. And, um, uh, you know, the Russian was coming after him pretty hard, uh, late in the match. And we would just let that clock run down, you know, uh, his, his, uh, his prediction, his premonition was going to come true. It only took him 15 years to, uh, to fulfill what he said he was going to do. As a five-year-old, he said he was going to win Olympic gold. And by 20, he's got it. So I believe him when he says something. You, you were reigning him, managing him. I shouldn't say reigning. I think that's a poor choice of words. You were managing him through uh, the Big Ten season, through the NCAA uh, season. And then he had an opportunity to face one of the great big men of, uh, of modern, modern years in Nick Gwizdowski. Um, was there ever any question in, in your mind that he could beat Nick? And, and if, if so, uh, what was that question? Well, there was never any question that he could beat him. You know, we watched them train together. You know, we knew they had trained together, but, but there was certainly not, there was no, like, this is, this is a slam dunk. You know, it was, you know, it was, we had enough information that this is going to be a great match and slight advantage Snyder. And the best thing for, for Kyle and the team was to wrestle him. So, you know, tremendous respect for quiz. I mean, he's a, he's a tremendous heavyweight. So, uh, but you just get this sense with Kyle that, there's something about him that just refuses to lose. Um, and you know, he's, he's shown that time and time again, there was something and a guy that refuses to lose. I'll, I'll bring up Jordan Burroughs. Um, you know, there's a guy that just doesn't 
lose, but when he did, everybody realized yeah. how special those moments were with Jordan Burroughs. What did you see in Jordan's performance in Rio? Uh, and and I, I, I surely don't think we've seen the last of Jordan Burroughs, but it didn't look like Jordan was the normal competitive Jordan Burroughs that we're used to seeing. What did you see? Well, you know, you don't know what's, you know, you don't know how much stress there was, how his weight cut was, you know, the emotional side of it. Uh, you know, the Russian is really good too. I mean, they've wrestled before and they're, and they're very close matches. So it wasn't like, Oh my gosh, you know, but in, in, in one breath, it's, 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 you don't, Oh my gosh. And the other breath you do, because he's just been so consistent. He's been so good for so long in these big, uh, you know, these big time matches that you, you come to expect these guys to do it and you can lose track easily of how good these people are, how hard it is by taking it for granted that, well, it's just Burroughs. He's going to, he's going to do it again. So, you know, I don't know what he was experiencing, you know, uh, you know, days leading up to the competition, you know, what was his weight cut like? Where was he emotionally? How much stress was there? How much did that play a factor? We know this, we know that he's, his life and his, his, his commitment to his family and the wrestling, there's no outside distractions, right? So it wasn't that. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know, but, but I, I'm sure he'll be back. Um, and I look forward to him being back on top. We're talking with Tom Ryan, part of the topic, uh, or topics we're covering today, uh, staff adjustments at Ohio state, uh, like any leader of a championship caliber program, Tom Ryan is, uh, uh, making adjustments, uh, I think, very, very well. Uh, one of them, of course, Travel Delagnev being uh, um, added to the coaching staff and, and uh, Jay Jaggers being elevated. There's a fine young man in Jay Jaggers, uh, uh, perhaps able to embrace the European uh, style of dress uh, more than any other coach in the United States. <laughs> he, he is a uh, model, model good looks. And, it's amazing. Amazing. Um, Coach, we want to thank you for your time today. I know uh, it's a long trip from, from the United States to France, but uh, you're there for a purpose. We'll get uh, let you get to it. But we do appreciate the time today, and uh, congratulations. I would, can I uh, ask for sure? I want to make sure I know this to be a fact. Are you originally from Wanta, New York? Yes, originally from Wanta. Okay, I just Wanta via Syracuse via Iowa in Indiana, Hofstra, Ohio State. Oh, that's West. right. I forgot that you had to stop in Iowa along the way. No, I didn't. That's just teasing. Uh, Tom, <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom Ryan has been our guest in the Nike hot seat today. Tom, thank you very much. Uh, best of luck uh, to Team USA in France. We appreciate the time. Thanks, Scott.